not much, thanks very much. Uh, today, I wanna do first impressions of this. This is the New Traveler's Notebook B-Sides and Rarities. This is the super lightweight refill. And I wanted to do this because I bought these for personal use, like just out of curiosity. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do this. And I thought, why not just record it and share it with you? So let me read some of the information. Um, first of all, I bought mine at Yoseka Stationery and it arrived and now it's here. So on the back of the paper that comes on the refill, um, it says the paper in this notebook is even thinner and lighter than our lightweight paper refill. The paper itself does not allow for oil to penetrate easily, so it is hard to smear when using a fountain pen. The letters on the back of the page will show through a little because the paper is so thin, which adds a unique look to the enticingly crisp paper. And then, um, yeah, so I've actually already done the writing because it's open, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show it to you because it's super cool. So let's go do it. Okay, I'm actually really excited to try this paper and I received my shipment and I had it on my desk and I was like, I'm just going to record what I'm doing with it. So this is what I would do I mean, I've done videos like this with other notebooks, but like this is what I would do if I were just going to play with this by myself. So it is the, this is the regular size Traveler's um, notebook refill. Super lightweight paper. Fascinatingly thin, light paper. And, uh, okay. Let's open her up. I'm really quite curious. I mean, I already really like thin paper, but... Okay, that doesn't smell like much. Very cute notebook. I like it so far. Um, very white paper. Let me sniff it, shall I? Hmm. Interesting. Very, like, no smell. Otherwise, it's really plain. Uh, I mean, it's not ornate in any way so yeah there's not a whole lot going on all right let's see um i didn't set this up properly obviously i should have done it this way so i'm gonna just slide those all over and then we're gonna do i don't know we'll just start over here we could do it the other direction but i don't feel like it we're gonna uh, we're gonna do it in this direction, you know, like the. Or would you prefer that? Eh, all right. <clears throat> okay. So the date is. I'm sorry, I won't speak like that. I had all my pens stored upright. Oh, that picked up pretty quickly. Anyway. Today. Is. It's not super smooth. Like, it doesn't feel super smooth. Um, like, it has a lot of texture, surprisingly. Uh, okay, so May 12th. Let's just do some other writing. So... <clears throat> um... What did I say this was again? Oh, right. Wow, this is very weird. <clears throat> so this ink, I know for a fact, is much darker on non-oil uh, paper, I guess? Or whatever, oil proof? Okay horrible writing because I'm thinking at the same time uh, don't think while trying to write um, okay so this is the traveler's notebook B sides wow quite skippy B squat B squat B sides and rarities I feel like the nib is not making complete contact with the page um that's odd okay so what was this actually called super lightweight paper okay how many times have i had to check that now 
Sorry. I think I'm distracted by how it does not feel at all like I expected. It does seem to be picking up. Um, super lightweight paper. I mean, these go for, I think, like, 9 US, 950. I, I think they're like 12 Canadian or something. Okay, so let's just keep going a little, see what see what we got, how things end up being. This is a flex nib. Huh. Very interesting. Quite a bit of tooth and feedback. Can you hear that? A bit of skipping if I move too quickly. But the lines, like the finer lines from this nib, are very clean. They're not spreading. I can see the ink on the page still, it's quite wet. So I'm going to just, uh, no, I won't use this nib for that. I'll use a different nib. Okay, so. This is one of those interesting inks, the ones that kind of shade in weird ways. And I'm really curious, first of all, okay, I see why this paper is fun. Hot damn, that's really cool. It's almost like instant chromatography. It's not, so it's not really. Uh, it's just really fun. So let me just do some... I didn't even finish my sentence. Let me just do some lettering. Um, this is Manyo Narashiko. Um, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. I mean, crazy amounts of th show through. I don't care. Show through doesn't bother me. But uh, that's really cool. Um, okay, so let me keep going. Obviously, this is a script I do not practice very often. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is so awesome. Look at that. Narashiko does not look like this on normal paper. Let me show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Give me one second. This is Narashiko on... Um, Maruman paper, the Nemesign. And this is it on this ooh, super lightweight paper. So this like really beautiful blue comes out way, way more than it does on regular paper. Super cool. I like where this is going. I'm enjoying this. Let's grab this pen, shall we? In here we have the little dry because it's low on ink and I've had it stored upright so let me get it going okay <clears throat> my fault not the inks uh, <clears throat> not the pens fault Okay, so this is Sailor Yama 
diary. Just trying to get that ink going a bit more. <coughs> okay, let me leave that one. I'm gonna put it tip down so we can get a bit flow going. Let's open up this Opus 88. This is the Stilo and Steel exclusive, and I'm crazy about it. I have a lot of opuses because I really, really like them. Some might say I'm obsessed. Okay, so what I'm finding, regular inks don't do anything weird. They're just interesting. A little bit lighter than I've expected. But uh, like this color up here, it's lighter than I thought it would be. But this paper is made for these chromo shaders. For sure. Um, I mean, like, it's just a match made in heaven for them. So let me try. I've got some uh, Sailor. Manyo Neko Yanagi in here. Another one of those um, from the same Manyo line. It's the Nadashiko, but it's more purple. So let's see. Okay, purple makes sense so far. I mean, it's still purple so far. Let's color that heart in. Then let's do a box. We'll leave that to dry. And we'll give this one just a couple seconds to dry before I swipe it. Okay, interesting. What I'm seeing is a lot of the blue tones coming through from these inks. So it's quite similar to Nadashiko, but just lighter. It's just lighter blue. Now, if we get up close and personal with the paper, let's see what we've got, what's happened here. Um, quite a nice bit of sheen. Long drying times for this one. It's a very wet writer. Crazy shading. There's some more sheen. Very, very uh, expressive paper, I think. It's quite, quite lovely. Should I keep going? Or should I stop? I don't know. I kind of want to keep going because it's so cool. Let's check out the back. And again, yeah, it's definitely got a lot of show through. I probably wouldn't use the back, but you could. Um, like if you really wanted to, I guess. Let's try the Vintage Flex before we leave. However, let's do some fun stuff. Okay. It's really hard to do that around a tripod. I definitely just got ink all over myself. M many times. Hopefully it didn't get in my mouth. I've had that happen. Okay. what happens um very cool I don't want to ruin this but I'm going to
not really talking because I'm thinking. Like, I'm focused on what I'm doing. Part of the test. Oh, I'm running dry on those two. It's time for some re-inking session. That's okay, right? You'll forgive me. Okay, so we have that. And then let's do... It's just curious. This is so interesting. I'm very much enjoying this. I mean, I'm not an artist, so I really am not doing anything that I know uh, that is an actual um, useful thing. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, amazing. The only thing that annoys me about this is it's going to be discontinued, I guess, after this year. And like, I hate, I hate having to hoard because I don't want to and um, it just means I have to accept that at some point I will run out of this paper. But in the meantime, I'm going to have fun with this because this is so cool. So cool. Well, let's wrap up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was fun for you. Um, I had a lot of fun and I'm really excited to go play with this some more. Exo, uh, exo, that me. No, it's not me. Um, dis me. Gourmet. Pants. XOXO. Thanks, guys. Um, please do me a favor. Please like and subscribe and share and all of those things. And if you're really having fun and you feel like lending your support, you can check me out on Patreon. That'd be really cool. But you don't have to. But if you wanted to, that would be amazing. But you don't have to. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Um, okay, bye.